Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a review on Dossier perfumes as well as Demeter perfumes. All right, so we'll start with my favorite, Oriental Oak Moss. It's 50 mil and it retails for only $29. It has a really good spritzer. Ooh, beautiful. And I really can't tell the difference because it's a dupe for the Coco Mademoiselle, which re this retails for 172 and this retails for 29. I'm looking down at my notes. And I'm gonna say that obviously the Chanel stays longer. And we just drop that. It Okay, so it's a little bit stronger. But pretty identical. If you want to try, if you don't want to invest and you want to try it, you can actually get the Dossier at Walmart right now. So we've got 50 mil and we've got 100 mil. So you do get twice as much. You do get twice as much. This is from Macy's and this is from Walmart. All right, so the next is Ambery Sage. Again, I'm reading notes if you see me looking down. Ambery, Ambery Sage is a dupe for Tom Ford's F and Fabulous, which retails for $395. Now this bottle is also 50 mil, just like this one. But this one, however, is $49. And I'm not sure why. It is a unisex scent and I really don't like it. So I gave it to my husband and he does like it. Um, let's see. It says the notes are bitter almond, sage, lavender. The middle notes is leather, orris, vanilla. And then the base notes are amber, woods, and tonka bean. So if, if you like the Tom Ford's that retails for $3.95, $49 would obviously, I mean, it's supposed to be unisex. It smells, it smells like a man, a man scent, but just a scent that I don't like, but you may like. <laughs> All right. And then the last dossier that I have is the Floral Marshmallow, which I absolutely love. And this retails for 39 again 50 mil and it's a dupe for the Killian's Love Don't Be Shy which retails for 290 and I I don't have that one but I've smelt it before at Macy's and spot on again very spot on so I'm going to say the Tom Ford's is most likely spot on as well this smells so sweet I guess because of the marshmallow top notes marshmallow neroli and bergamot. Middle notes are orange blossom, honeysuckle, jasmine, and the base notes are amber, vanilla, and musk. It smells amazing. Again, the dossier, all of them actually are supposed to be unisex, so. But this is super sweet. All right, and that is that. Okay, let's move on to Demeters, and they are not dupes for anything. They're just unusual scents. And since I am a perfume collector, I like to have unusual scents. Some of these actually are my daughter's, like this one is Paperback Book. And it smells like when you get a brand new book from Barnes and Noble and you go like that with the pages, the smell of just a nice fresh book. And it is 15 mil and about half full. And these can be bought at the Demeter Fragrance Library website. And they're pretty reasonable. This one is mine, Earl Grey Tea. I love Earl Grey Tea. And it smells just like a hot cup of Earl Grey Tea. 
Um, let's see. It just says pick me up cologne spray, natural. And if you don't know what Earl Grey tea smells like, go have some because it definitely gives you a little pick me up as well, like coffee. This one is linen. Look at how cute that little splash bottle is. Linen, pick it up, splash it on. Laundry detergent, like fresh laundry detergent. Maybe you just took your clothes out of the dryer. And so that's what the smell is. Very fresh. And this is 15 mil. So this is the splash one and this is the spray per size. Next is another one of my daughters and it is kitten fur. Basically kitten fur, your mama kitty just gave birth and the smell of a newborn kitten. It's just very powdery, powdery I would say. Not as strong as a baby powder, but along those lines. If you don't like baby powder, I don't think you will like this smell. I love it, it smells good. Again, a little splash container. All right, fresh brewed coffee. Need I say more? Wow. Basically, you've just walked into Starbucks and that first whiff of coffee smell. Very much so, this is really cool. Really cool scent. Okay. Last two, wet garden, very florally. Ooh, let's see what kind of flower. I'm gonna say it has carnations with a little bit of honeysuckle and maybe a little bit of jasmine. This smells really good. Spring, summer fragrance. And the last one, Sunshine. I use this one, I just got, well, I just got it last year. I did use it all summer though. And again, it just smells like uh, you're just walking outside on the sunny day and you know what? Maybe it was raining recently because the, that smell after the rain, but then the sun when rainbow comes out, that smells really good. And what's so really great about these ones is that you can wear something popular like your Coco Mademoiselle or um, you know your Gucci perfumes and just something that everybody else is wearing. But it's so great to wear something that nobody else is wearing. You walk by and people are wondering, what is that smell? It smells really good, but they just can't place it because it's a little unusual. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. I'm going to continue, um, I'm no perfume expert, but I'm going to continue doing these uh, fragrance videos because I simply enjoy it and I do have many fragrances. So um, if you have a favorite fragrance, I may have it and I could possibly review it. So comment below and subscribe if you haven't already done so and I appreciate you and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.